Toma News presents Brave Animals. Sometimes animals exhibit more humanity than people do. Case in point, a dog named Pui rescued a newborn baby after finding her at a dump site in Tha Ra, Thailand. Pui was sniffing around the local dump site when he came across an interesting white plastic bag. He decided to bring the bag back to his master's home, where he put it down and began barking loudly for attention. Pui's owner's niece came downstairs to see what he was barking about. She was shocked to find an infant baby inside the bag and called out to her mother for help. The baby girl was rushed to the hospital, where doctors weighed her at 2.2 kilograms, saying she was born prematurely. Pui received a leather collar and medal from the local Red Cross chapter for his heroic deed. A babysitter in South Carolina is behind bars after a loyal dog alerted the parents of a little boy she was physically abusing. After babysitting the child several times, the dog, called Killian, developed an unfriendly relationship with the nanny when she became violent towards the child. The infant's parents took notice of Killian's dislike for her and the father says he planted a recording device beneath the couch. Expecting to find she had become abusive towards the dog, they found the nanny was hitting and shouting expletives at the child and immediately called the police. 22-year-old Alexis Khan was sentenced to a maximum three years in prison and her name was placed on a registry for child abusers. Loyal dog tries to revive friend run over by car. If you think you're a loyal friend, this dog in China may bring you to shame. On April 17th, after bearing witness to his friend being struck by a vehicle on a busy city street in Zhejiang, the faithful pooch did everything he could to wake his fallen pal. As this tragic video clip shows, the dog tries feverishly to jolt his friend to life. He looks around to see if anyone else might come to their aid, but sadly, no one does. Not knowing what else to do, as cars continue to drive by and honk, he stands and waits in the freezing rain, unwilling to leave his friend's side. After waiting in the wet street for half an hour, the dog's owner finally comes by to drag the injured pooch to the side of the road. She calls for help, but it appears to be too late. Though a tearful goodbye, we can only hope to have such a friend by our side to the very end. Pigs make daring escape to avoid becoming bacon. Two pigs made the front page of the internet this week. No, the other kind. Both pigs rose to fame for their brave escape from trucks en route to the slaughterhouse. The first video, apparently taken somewhere in South America, shows the pig's struggle to get on top of the truck. It considers the gravity of the situation. If this works, everyone who ever said when pigs fly would have to deliver on those promises. Here we go. Three, two, super pig! Ouch! Okay, that looks like it hurt a little, but that is some terrific, radiant, humble pig. Let's hope a pack of wolves isn't waiting for babe in the bushes. The second courageous porker comes from Foshan City in China's Guangdong province. This little piggy was going to market, and this little piggy said, Heck no, I'm out of here. Someone behind the truck was ready with a camera when the piggy made the leap. Nice little air trot you've got going on there, Piggy. Trademark. The oinker landed on the hard concrete in the middle of traffic and was able to find its feet. If you like happy endings more than you like bacon, now's the time to stop watching. According to reports, the driver did notice the pig was missing and circled around with his truck. The driver caught the pig, turning its long leap to freedom into a short stroll among traffic. He then carefully delivered the pig to his final resting place. Enjoy your breakfast. Mississippi cop saved by canine after men tried to kill him. A deputy in danger was rescued by his valiant black Belgian Malinois from an ambush attack by three unidentified assailants. Around 10 p.m. last Monday, Deputy Todd Frazier was driving along Perlington with his canine partner Lucas when he saw a lone dark blue town car with a man at the driver's seat. The car was unlit, so Frazier got out of his vehicle to check out if there's anything fishy going on. As the deputy approached the car, two other men came out of the woods behind the car and the driver came out as well. Frazier backed up but tripped and fell backwards. Then the three men attacked. 
The three men dragged Frazier towards the woods. During the struggle, he was beaten and repeatedly slashed with a box cutter. He knew that the man with the box cutter would slash his throat soon. Frazier managed to get one hand free and reached for his police vehicle's remote control and opened the doors. The enraged Lucas jumped into the action and fiercely bit two of the attacker's hands. The three men let go of Frazier and jumped into their town car and drove off, leaving behind drops of blood along the concrete road. In the aftermath of the incident, trails of blood were visible on the site. Investigations are now underway to search for the assailants. Frazier would have been a victim if it weren't for his trusty pal, Lucas. Brave Cow Tries to Save Girl from Her Family On May 19th, CCTV captured footage of a courageous cow who may have been trying to rescue a woman from a so-called honor killing in India. Sadly, the girl could not be saved. A young woman by the name of Seema Gujar reportedly decided to elope with her beloved boyfriend Sanu. However, this displeased her father, who requested that Sanu be arrested and put into prison. Refusing to return home to her family after her boyfriend's imprisonment, Seema decided to stay at a government-run shelter for women instead. However, this didn't mean she was safe. Two men, reportedly Seema's father and uncle, later showed up at the shelter intending to carry out an honor killing, the barbaric practice of murdering someone, usually a girl or woman, who has shamed her family by having an affair or otherwise somehow brought dishonor to a family or community. Regrettably, the cow's efforts were in vain. Although it managed to chase away Seema's attackers, her wounds were too extensive and she later died from loss of blood. According to local media, Seema's father and uncle have fled the city and have so far not been found. A blind man who miraculously survived after tumbling onto New York City subway tracks earlier this week has credited his guide dog with saving his life. Cecil Williams was on his way to visit the dentist when he suddenly began to feel faint. Noticing this, his guide dog Orlando began to bark frantically and tried to prop the 61-year-old up. I saw a man, a little wobbly, but he was too close to the edge. I tried to scream at him to get, you know, forward. The dog was pulling him to, to come forward, and but it was too late. He, he wobbled forward and then he went backwards. Medication Williams was taking at the time may have been to blame for his fainting. The loyal black lab then jumped down onto the tracks and attempted to wake up his owner as a subway train hurtled toward them. Luckily, the two were lying in a trough between the rail tracks and escaped serious injury. Williams' insurance is set to expire when he retires in January, and he may be forced to give Orlando up for adoption. But well-wishers have been working hard in an attempt to stop the pair from being separated. And as of Thursday, a campaign on crowdfunding platform Indiegogo has racked up more than $60,000 in donations. Hit the link in the description below to see how you can help. Dog saves unconscious bird and pair form incredible bond. A small pet dog spotted a little bird in dire straits, and rather than watch it die, he went in search of help. Diamond, a Jack Russell Terrier, had just come in from a walk with his owner, Gunner. Minutes after Gunner sat down at his computer, Diamond ran over, whining. Not understanding why, Gunner initially waved the pooch off. But the little dog was persistent, and eventually Gunner gave in and followed Diamond to check things out. To his astonishment, lying outside on the floor of their balcony was a tiny bird who appeared to be dead. But when Gunner noticed it blink, he quickly gathered it up and tried to bring it back to life with some water and bird seed. Incredibly, the bird was flapping its wings again in no time, and when Gunner was about to let it go, the bird flew over to Diamond and landed on his head. A show of thanks, if you will. The two shared a few friendly kisses, and Gunner named the bird BB. He then left BB outside to encourage her to return to the wild. Apparently, BB wanted one last sleepover with Diamond, and so Gunner arranged for it. The next day, BB took flight and flew high in the air. Gunner says now, whenever he asks, where's BB? Diamond hops on the couch and looks out the window for his pal. Maybe somewhere outside that window, she's there, keeping an eye on him too. Pitbull saves boy from deadly swarm of bees. A heroic pitbull rescued an eight-year-old Oregon City boy from a swarm of bees after she dragged him to safety by the leg of his pants. Jesse Cole Shaver was playing with his older sister and some friends near a creek down an embankment behind their apartment complex when one of the kids stepped on a rotten log and unleashed a swarm of bees. Jesse was stuck at the bottom of the hill and stung 24 times as the other kids were able to run to safety. 
That's when Hades, their pit bull, came to the rescue and raced down the embankment and grabbed Jesse by his pant leg and hauled him up the hill. Hades saw me and came and she dragged me up to the grass and stopped and let me crawl on her back and took me to my mom, Jesse said. Jesse's older sister, Jasmine Jones, was stung five times and had to use an EpiPen because she's allergic to bees. Both kids were taken to the hospital for treatment and were released a few hours later. Jedi the Diabetic Alert Dog Saves Life of Sleeping 7-Year-Old Boy Tori Nuttall, her 7-year-old diabetic son Luke, and the rest of the family were sound asleep one night last week when their black Labrador Jedi saved the day. None of the devices monitoring Luke's condition sounded an alarm, but Jedi sensed something was wrong and jumped off the bed, then back on again. Nuttall didn't get up, so Jedi laid on top of her until she woke. Jedi then jumped off the bed and put his front paws on the mattress but wouldn't get back into bed when Nuttall told him to. Jedi bowed to signal a low alert, prompting Nuttall to check Luke's monitoring machine, which indicated that her son was in stable condition. However, Jedi bowed again and refused to get back in bed. Convinced something was wrong, Nuttall tested Luke's blood and discovered his glucose level was dangerously low. She then gave her son a glucose tab to bring his blood sugar up to a safe level. Jedi is a diabetic alert dog. Similar to a bomb-sniffing dog, he can detect when Luke's blood sugar is too low or too high simply by the power of smell. Luckily, the force is strong in this one. Gorilla saves sister from Zoo Moat. Cat saves hot owner by warning her. Psst, your ex-boyfriend's hiding in the closet. What is the situation here? Why is this crazy ex-boyfriend hiding inside this woman's closet? He probably wanted to kill me. I don't know why he broke into my house. His name is Hung E. Siang, and he's an analyst for Goldman Sachs Group. He has a key card. <laughs> so he can enter the front gate, but cannot go into your apartment? No, he can't, because I just changed the lock on my door. I went back home with my friend just after 3 on Sunday afternoon, and we watched TV together. I noticed my cat scratching and hissing at my closet angrily. I opened the closet door and found my ex-boyfriend hiding inside. He ran off while my friend and I were screaming in shock. Oh my god. I asked him if he took any of my things. He said no, and then threw this key card at me. Not until yesterday did I know that he'd been breaking into my house recently. My neighbor even bumped into my ex-boyfriend in the lobby two weeks ago. He fell in love with someone else three months ago, and it was he who wanted to break up with me. I bless him. I'm guessing the relationship with that new girlfriend didn't go so well, and that's why he came back to try getting with me again. The woman, whose name is Huang, filed a lawsuit against the suspect and, of course, changed the locks a second time. Well done, kitty.